hey there welcome back to my channel today we are going to dive into the fantastic world of graph visualization using c sharp and wpf and to make our life easier we'll be using a fantastic library called ms agl so let's get started so all right we are in the visual studio and i have already set up a new wpf project on dotnet framework and if you are not familiar with wpf don't worry it's a user interface framework that allows us to create stunning graphical applications and that's exactly what we need for graph visualization so the first thing we need to do is to install the msagl library we can easily do that by using the nuget so let me go ahead and search for msagl so if you go to the references there is a manage nuget packages option and as you can see i have already installed the msagl packages you need to install this microsoft.msagl graph viewer gdi it's a basic graph viewer gdi uh, nuget package wherein it internally has these two dependencies therefore once you install this thing these two things will be automatically installed and the main thing to note here is it only supports the support is only from dotnet framework version 4.7.2 there are other variations of this ms agl nuget package is available with this uh, only for cat only targeting the wpf like wpf graph control etc for if you want to explore that you are free to explore that currently for this demo i am currently using the basic graph your gda which is a winform based control which exposes winform based control so once it is installed see it is installed and it provides us the powerful graph layout algorithm and a flexible visualization framework msagl so great so we will go we will explore the code as of now therefore i have main window.xaml which is nothing but it has a windows forms host which is hosting the gviewer which is the graph viewer from msagl uh, this is a windows uh, forms control that is why we are using the windows forms host to host this particular windows forms control and uh, we ha we have identified it using the suitable names one can go to the code behind now and the code behind what i have done is i have actually registered for an event called windows loader so if you go above it is a loaded even i registered for windows load once the window is loaded i am creating a new graph object which is nothing but a graph object from msagl.draw and you have to add the nodes which are participating in the graph or nodes which are part of that particular graph and once you have added all the nodes you have to establish the relationship between the nodes it's pretty simple and straightforward so first step is to add the nodes and the second step is to add the relationship between the nodes so these are the two basic steps that you need to do i have already pre populated the graph with nodes n1 to n6 and added the relationship between those from uh, between those those nodes and once it is done you have to set the graph property prop you have to set the graph property in the g viewer before this comes from our uh, xaml where we have identified the g viewer as the graph viewer instance so you can use the graph viewer dot graph and you can set the graph object that we have created so once the setup is done uh, you you can actually try to we can try to run the application so this is the startup project i have created so let's start it. yeah the main window is up and as you can see our graph is now rendered we can easily navigate 
and explore the different nodes or we can interact with this particular uh, particular layout so it is possible to adjust the node positions according to your preference so it is it comes with a default layout options which can be you can change or configure the layout options from this menu you can the layout setting is set as sugiyama, sugiyama layout setting so there are three other layout settings um, which are available by default or you can customize the layout by dragging each of the nodes according to your preference isn't this cool so apart from this there are many other options which are available exposed by this toolbar therefore you can zoom in into your graph and you can zoom out and you can uh, zoom in by dragging a rectangle if you're interested in a particular portion you can just zoom in into that particular portion so that's the thing and once there is a pan option available as well and the main thing is you can actually export this particular graph into your preferred format so you can save it as a graph or save it in bitmap, for, bitmap, bitmap format or in a vector format if you choose the bitmap format it allows you to save it in jpg format therefore it can be exported as well pretty convenient right therefore uh, apart from this you can once you save it as the graph you can reload that particular graph using this particular option you can print it and you can actually edit the uh, arrows therefore once you select it it is possible to uh, insert the bold line corner which, which is to modify the structure of this particular line and to remove this heads any thing you can do if you insert bold line heads it is possible for you to actually modify or play around with this particular arrow so all those interactive features are there and you can enable the context menu for each of the node. So it's pretty uh, pretty much interactive in that aspect. So uh, with MSAGL you can create more complex graph, customize the layout, add tool tips and even handle events for interactivity. It's a powerful library for graph visualization no doubt and I encourage you to explore its documentation to unlock its full potential so that's all for today's vlog on using msagl to visualize graph in c sharp wp i hope you find it interesting and informative if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting programming content so thanks all for watching and happy coding